What's up, comic book community? It's me, um, Thunder God 75 Comics. Uh, just out here to bring you another video. Um, what I was going to do here is it's not really an unboxing or a haul, just a, uh, a little peek at my uh, personal collection. Some of my favorite books that I have in there. Um, just to kind of show you some of the things I got. Some things I like to collect. Uh, you know, so. Yeah, it's just uh, some kind of cool first appearances and variants and stuff like that. Uh, just kind of. Just some favorites out of the PC. And I'd like to bring it to you guys out there. And, you know, you can let me know what you think. First one that we have is a Doomsday Clock number one. When this is actually signed by Jeff Johns, right here. I don't know how well that's coming through on there, but uh, when this book first came out and I went to the LCS to pick it up, they had only had two of these and they came from. DC with Jeff John's signature on there. I had a little note on the back about uh, they were thanking the store for their participation and promoting Doomsday Clock and stuff like that. They only had two. I went in there. This was the last one that they had left. Um, so of course there's no CG uh, CGC signature series or anything to it because the signature was already on there. Um, Probably going to be selling my son to CBCS just so I can go ahead and get the verified signature. But, you know, I still picked it up um, because it did have Jeff John's signature on there. And one of my favorite, you know, creators. So I picked it up. Next one that we have is Uncanny X-Men 211. Right there. A gorgeous Wolverine cover. Um, like how they did like all the character banners around here. Um, this one also is first ever appearance of Marauders. So I had to pick it up. And I found it at a when I found it at a great price. Uh the there's a Wolverine cover on there. First appearance. It's one of my favorite books that I have. Next one here is King Thor, number one, the little four-book run that ended Jason Aaron's long tenure as the Thor writer. Um, uh, this right here was a 1 in 50 ratio cover. They had some others, but I absolutely thought this cover was beautiful. Um, it's just the blood splattering from whatever... Thor is hitting on, he's got Mjolnir in one hand, you know, a big sword in the other hand right here. I just absolutely love this. It's probably one of my favorite covers that I have. So, yeah, this was King Thor number one. It was like a 1 in 50 ratio. Uh, they just had a couple of them. I had to pick it up. Here was one I was surprised I found. This was that one-shot Joker, Year of the Villain that they did, that story that was written by John Carpenter. Um, it, it's, it's probably going to be really hard to see on here, but if you just look kind of right in here somehow, uh, got it's in small print, it actually all it says is for promotional use only. Um, and I guess it's because it was something that was extremely low when I was talking to them at the LCS they didn't get they got like one of these in maybe two or something like that um I love the cover on it it's a Brian Bullard cover uh he's the one that did the artwork and the the for um the killing joke so I mean that that joker picture right there is just classic 
Um, and like I said, I know it was something that was extremely low print run, and it said promotional use only. So, you know, I got lucky enough to go in, and there it was. Next is a Batman Detective Comics 871. Um, this right here, one of my favorites, uh, simply because this right here is Scott Snyder's first ever work on Batman. Uh, so this is, yeah, it's uh, the Black Mirror. It's the beginning of that story arc. Which was really good. So, yeah, that's the main significance to this story. So, it, as well as I, I believe it's the first book that introduces the Commissioner Gordon's son, who, uh, spoilers, I guess, uh, ends up being a, a murderer. Uh, so, yeah, it was a, just a real good story arc, and it's Scott Snyder's. First work uh, on a Batman title. So, this is just, you know, a real nice book to have. I like the cover with the different bats down here. So, yeah, one of my favorite ones I have. Of course, I have lots of favorites. You know, most books, you know, you're going to have your collection. This is just a small bit. Um, there's a lot of things I have. This right here, Batman 635. I most people out there are going to know what this is, but this is first ever Jason Todd as Red Hood that started that Under the Red Hood story arc, which was also made into an amazing uh, animated feature. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend that. Um, but yeah, just a great story, you know, Amazing writing. This was one of the best story arcs of you know the Batman's ever had when you know when they just decided to bring Jason Todd back and hit how he becomes Red Hood. So this this right here, one of the favorites, you know, that I was able to pick up, you know, first Jason Todd is Red Hood. Another one that I got lucky to get was a, it's a Justice League number four, but it's a Jim Lee, it's a Jim Lee sketch. It's a sketch of Wonder Woman, and I guess it was a one in 100 ratio. So, probably not the, uh, the highest count for books, but it's, you know, issue four of Justice League when... Scott Snyder first started taking over the writing. Um, I was real happy that the LCS still had one of these when I went in. Um, this this right here is my my book I continue to hold on to to where if I can ever get a chance to meet Jim Lee and get his signature series on something, this, this is the kind of one I'm holding out for right here. I'd like to get his signature on, on this book. Um, like I said, no significance other than 1 in 100 ratio when I love those sketch covers. I mean, who doesn't? Here is Omega Men number 3. First ever Lobo. Now, come on. We all love the main man. Uh, I, this is probably just classic. You look at that picture of Lobo. My God, how he changed through the years is fucking nuts, huh? Oh, whoops, I swore. That's probably the first time I've done that in any video. I don't know. It's not made for children. Anyways, yeah, this right here, and probably you'll never see any, any type of covers like these anymore. Female, completely legs spread wide open, hanging from a bike, uh... Quite the picture. And you ever found it kind of weird how right there between her legs there's a big bright light? I don't know. But anyways, first appearance Lobo, Omega Men number three. Love it. Um, 
love the main man, you know, so especially the transitions he's made throughout the years and his look, but this right here is an awesome first to uh first appearance title for me. And that's what we're really getting into. Some of my favorite first appearances, like this right here. Teen Titans number 12. The one from the, the Dark Knights Metal tie-in. This right here is first ever full Batman Who Laughs. Um, this right here, I know was some of the really low print runs. So at some point, it was like I guess like really hard to get. I was real fortunate to find it before I guess it really went up in price. And you know, every you know, everything that was in great condition. So yeah. First ever Batman Who Laughs, Teen Titans number twelve. You know, I don't read a lot of the Teen Titans as far as the you know, the 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 main run. But if there's keys, then yeah, I'm going to pick them up. So, yeah, right here. Teen Titans number 12, first ever Batman Who Laughs. One of my favorite pieces in the personal collection. Same as this one right here. Captain America number 6. First ever Winter Soldier. I love Winter Soldier. Um... That movie, the Captain America Winter Soldier, is probably still my favorite Marvel movie that they've done. I just love how that's put together. Um, Sebastian Stan, I think he just knocks it out of the park uh, playing Winter Soldier and Bucky Barnes. Um, love that character. And when I had a chance to pick up his first ever appearance right here in Captain America 6, uh, the artwork right here is done by Steve Epting. I think he's a great artist. So, yeah, this is one of my favorite things to have right here. First ever Winter Soldier. Love this book. And probably now, is that we all know my screen name, probably one of the favorites that I have to my collection is going to be Mighty Thor 337. And if we can't tell what that one is, I mean, come on. We all know. First ever Beta Ray, baby. Right there. First ever Beta Ray Bill. I went into the shop when I was out traveling one time. And I looked this thing over and it was near mint. And he had uh, a low price tag on it. Like he kind of forgot it had just been sitting there. And he started looking at what it was what it was going for nowadays. But I'm like, well, yeah, but I found it and it's got this price tag on it. And so he ended up honoring the price that I was sitting there. Because I found it when I was just going through some some books. And it was buried under about three or four others. Like he hadn't went through his own stuff in a while. And there it was. And newsstand edition. We can see that on there. Newsstand edition and practically near mint condition and i got an amazing deal on it so yeah first ever beta ray bill can't wait for him to be in the movies it should be more sooner than later that's what that's that that's for sure so yeah thor 337 first beta ray bill um it's it's right up there if it's not my favorite book that i have it's man it's in the top three but like i said i have a lot of books a lot of them that are my favorites so but right here is one of my favorites. And that'll do it for right now. Um, you know, I have a lot of other books. If you don't mind doing something like this, I'll probably just, uh, you know, here and there, I might bring some more videos of diff different things I have to go along with the hauls and any type of unboxings that I'm doing. Um, so, if you have any of these, or if you like them, or, you know, if you just want to make any comments about it, uh, please leave comments, like, subscribe, you know, hit me up with anything. I try to respond to any and all comments that somebody, you know, gives me. So, yeah, just, uh, if you like the content, let me know. Uh... Like, subscribe, 
hit that notifications bell. I don't know if I've ever said hit that notifications bell in any of my other videos. Normally I always forget. But yeah, hit that little notifications bell. And um, up into this area here will be some of my other videos. Uh, and if you don't mind giving those a watch, please do. And until the next video, comment community, remember, stay worthy.